Are you interested in a user experience relationship? That's terrific. Regardless of whether you'll be the mentee hoping to learn or the mentor hoping to share, there are some C's you should remember to have a great mentoring relationship. So for you mentees, when you're considering a potential mentor, think about these three C's. Amazing mentors are compassionate. This one should be obvious for any UX professional. They understand that by sharing and helping others, they can discover personal growth through reflection and better understand themselves. Look for mentors who spend their free time to gain those internal benefits and not external recognition. They're also candid. They're honest, vulnerable, and give lots of feedback. They don't just talk about their design successes. They also talk about their design failures and what they learn from them. And they're credible. They have relevant wisdom to share from years of experience in UX roles on topics where the mentee wants to grow. They have the life experiences you hope to have someday. Mentors, when you're evaluating a potential mentee, consider these three C's. An effective mentee is considerate. They're mindful of the mentor's gift of time and express gratitude for the opportunity. While both mentors and mentees benefit from mentorship, the mentee tends to benefit more. So great ones reciprocate by accommodating the mentor's schedule, covering the cost of a simple meal or beverage, or just expressing appreciation with a handwritten thank you note. Next, they're cooperative. They're receptive to feedback and willing to try uncomfortable new ideas. This is a lot easier than it sounds. Mentors want to see their sharing is making a difference. A mentee who wants to continue engaging in the same behaviors doesn't need a mentor. Most importantly, great mentees are committed. They take personal responsibility for their development. They have clear learning goals for a mentorship. They also demonstrate excellent user research skills. They promptly schedule sessions, prepare questions in advance, and take notes. Now, there's two more C's that apply to both mentors and mentees. Communication is essential for both mentees and mentors. They must actively listen to each other and engage in dialogue, not monologue. That means expressing interest in the other person's thoughts, mirroring their words and emotions, and comparing their perspectives. And finally, mentees and mentors need connection. Both need to share a few similar values, ideas, interests, or personal traits to bond over. Some common ground is helpful, especially if you don't know the person very well. But remember that new perspectives from someone different from yourself is always enlightening. So the next time someone approaches you to be a mentor or mentee, remember these C's. Before you say yes, can you think of examples of how they demonstrate them? And more importantly, what about you?